So, um, as Michael said, I'm a singer-songwriter and I take my inspiration from, from the world around me. And I particularly like history and looking at people's stories, real people's stories. And this song is based on the life of a real person called Billy Marchant. Billy was from Salford and he was a bare-knuckle boxer around the turn of the century. And he was quite successful. He started on the fairgrounds and then he got over to America. He had a lot of success there. And then in 1914, he turned out for his country and went to fight in the First World War. And that's kind of where this, this song starts with him in the trenches. And the reason I picked this one is I think that there's a real uh, a metaphor in this song about being knocked down and getting up again, which is what boxers do. And I, and I think that really applies to the carers that I've known um, and to my own experiences of caring as well. Okay, let's let's get it played. See what you think. With my face pressed hard on a sandbag, the trench starts filling with mud. All the bullets are flying, the grown men are crying. These odds are not good. So I find myself reminiscing about the first time I sailed to New York. You see, I wasn't always a soldier, but I've been a fighter from the day I could walk. I was whistling the leaving of Liverpool as the pier head disappeared. With the roar of the crowd and my true love's tears ringing in my ears. I soon found myself mid-Atlantic in a storm that had blown up from hell. And as the wind cut my cheek, I whispered a prayer and someone rang a bell. But the harder it blows, the more I know it won't knock me down. So I turn my face to the ocean waves and I stare them down. One thousand miles up in the distance, someone's pasting a bill to a wall. It says battle in Billy, or box here in Philly, come watch the Englishman fall. Well, that first night I fought in Manhattan, and this Frenchman was giving me hell. And as his glove cut my cheek, I whispered a prayer, and someone rang a bell. And the harder his blows, the more I know he won't knock me down. So I turn to face my opponent, and I stare him. Century is younger than I am, but already she's taken much more. Now I'm stuck in France, sparring with chance, and this time I'm fighting a war. And I wish I was back on the fairgrounds, but wishes won't rid me this hell. The barbed wire cuts my cheek, and I whisper a prayer, and someone rings a bell. And the harder it blows, the more I know won't knock me down so i turn to face the bullets and i stare the bullets down i turn my face to the bullets and i stare the bullets down thank you i can i can see the applause that's great thank you very much um, it's always strange doing these these gigs on online. Uh, oh, there's a comment there. Beautiful sound. Okay, that's good. I was worried. At least my microphone's working. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play another one now, and this is also a kind of military-related song. Um, and this is loosely based on a member of my family who was a prisoner of war in World War II. Um, and there's a bit of caring in this song because it's about how he and his wife, how they put their lives together after going through what they went through. 
um, and this particular relative of mine was captured at Dunkirk. So he was in a prison of war camp all the way through. Um, and so many men of that generation were traumatized and, and women too, actually. And, but they had that kind of, we just get on with it kind of attitude. Um, so I, I'm kind of referencing that a little bit. So I suppose in the modern language, this is a song about uh, post-traumatic stress disorder um, and about how a couple find their way through that and how she looks after him. And it's called Making Sense of the War. And it's set in Nottingham, which is my hometown. He came back from the fighting To find he won the peace He got a new house from the council It had an indoor lavatory And she'd find him in the parlor All hours of the night Still on maneuvers his dagger at his side Making sense of the war They're making sense of the war Making sense where there was no sense before He tendered his allotment He found a bombed out window frame built himself a greenhouse and grew tomatoes up a cane he planted roses in a bucket and he'd bring one home for Lil and she put it in a milk bottle pride of place on the windowsill they're making sense of the war they're making sense of the war making sense where there was no sense before in the corner of his mind But Lil would guide him gently She'd say, come on now, duck We'll have none of that Let's go home, it's quiet there I'll pop the kettle on Making sense of the war They're making sense of the war Making sense where there was no sense before Oh, making sense Where there was no sense before Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, so yeah, I mentioned Nottingham there, and uh, I'd like to play you a bit of a, a daft song, uh, a Nottingham folk song, I guess. Um, I wrote this about a place in, in Nottingham, and it's a specific crossroads. Um, my nana used to tell me about it, and there was a church, a school, a pub, and a pawnbroker's. And they used to call it Asian Corner, um, because those four places would lead you to damnation, ruination, education or salvation and uh, 
I'll play you this one about that. If you ever go down Radford, there's a crossroads near the old players' works. There used to be a pub, a pawnbroker's, a school and a church. And Aunt Nana used to say at those four destinations, you'd find damnation, ruination, education or salvation. And each one would lead to a different fate. The choice was yours to take. Down the cellar, close to hell. Amongst the barrels, demons dwell. And there they wait to claim your soul if you're soaked in the ale. Or down in the coal hole, if that's the choice you make. Damnation awaits. Above the doorway, three balls of bait that lure the debtor to his fate. It's got no backbone, got no spine, just hungry children and desperate eyes. And if that's the choice she makes, ruination awaits. Here on the crossroads, we live, we work by the boozer, the broker, the schoolhouse, the church. One on each corner for every occasion, damnation, ruination, education or salvation. Damnation, ruination, education or salvation, that's the choice to make. Damnation, ruination, education or salvation That's the choice to me Now I'm a working man But I burn with shame when I leave a cross Where others write my name But don't be mistaken I'm no fool I make sure my children go to school And that's the choice I make Their education awaits Damnation, ruination, education or salvation That's the choice to make On these four corners we live and die There's only one way to get out alive Through blood and fire They say the truth is in the holy army With William Booth And if that's the choice you make Salvation awaits damnation ruination education or salvation that's the choice to make damnation ruination education or salvation that's the choice that's the choice to make thank you thank you um, I'm just going to play uh, a couple more and then hopefully we'll be a bit of time to chat and um, I'd love to sort of talk to you and, and reflect a little bit on on my time at Carers UK such an amazing time in my life and um, it's so I, I saw Emily Holthausen's name pop, pop up earlier um, and I worked with Emily for many years on, on lots of campaigns and getting legislation through and it's interesting because I we used to get to go to the House of Parliament and the House of Lords and you know into government and now I go into prison and I work on the streets with people who are homeless. And I think, oh, there can't be many people in Britain who have, you know, been in the corridors of power and then and end up working in these other places. Um, but it really does give you a, an interesting look at life. And, and I, I won't tell you where I think the most villains are, but they're not necessarily <laughs> in prison. Um, OK. Um, in, the, in recent times, I've, I've found myself taking on a sort of set, caring role, not like a full massive one, but still a little one. And I've also become disabled myself. I've got a, a chronic illness and um, it affects my balance and my brain, affects my ability to work. Um, and I wrote a song about it. And this is a, a song about living with, a, with an illness. It's called Times Are Getting Tough. <laughs> go to work this morning and 
the work won't come to me And neither will the money And I don't own a money tree So most days I try But I'm not gonna lie Sometimes I feel like giving up Times are getting tougher Cause times are getting tough And if I'm not there tomorrow He told me don't come back He doesn't like folk over 40 I'm pretty sure of that So most days I'll try But I'm not gonna lie Right now I feel like giving up Cause times are getting tougher Cause times are getting tough getting tougher times are getting tough Tramadol Coco de Mar They get me through my day all the same this chronic pain never goes away and then I think about my Nana cause Nana had it rough but even when she had cancer She never once gave up So most days I try But I'm not gonna lie Right now I feel like giving up Cause times are getting tougher Times are getting tough Getting tougher. Times are getting tough. Okay. Okay, right. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to play one more. Um, I'm going to end with uh, a, a kind of positive one because that's a little dark. Um, but you know what? No matter where I go, I mean, a lot of people facing really difficult times. Um, and when you talk to people about what makes a difference, the thing that makes a difference is is other people. Um, and that's kind of what this song is, because, you know, it is always going to be a struggle and a fight in life for us to get the things that we, we deserve. And that particularly applies to carers, perhaps, you know, more than any other section of society. Um, but, you know, you're part of this incredible lineage. I mean, look into the history of Carers UK, you know, it goes back to Mary Webster in the 1960s, Judith Oliver in the 1980s. These, and, and they are predominantly women. And I think about some of the incredible women I met at, at Carers UK, you know, and I want to dedicate this song to two of those women, particularly to Rosemary O'Neill, who was a really great friend of mine and was a, one of the moderators on the forum and Linda Wisbatch, who, who was a trustee of Carers UK, um, as was Rosemary. And both those women had a massive influence on my life. They were both incredible, you know, carers, but with such tenacity and strength. And I'm going to dedicate this to them. And it's called uh, Don't Despair. When it seems like our lives are not ours to control When it seems like it's hopeless 
and nothing will change. And it seems like our lives are not ours to control. Bewildered and helpless as we watch it unfold. Like the shadows of winter, when they start drawing in, it can seem like you'll never see daylight again. But you're only as sunk as the last setting sun, because there's a new moon to howl at, and there's work to be done. So don't be scared, and don't despair. Put your arm around someone just to feel them there. Don't be scared and don't despair Wherever there's people, hope is always near We're all single stars in a bright winter sky We're one billion strong and a galaxy wide when the darkness surrounds us and shut out the light Don't lie down and take it cause you can stand up and fight So don't be scared and don't despair Put your arms around someone just to feel them there Don't be scared and don't despair Wherever there's people Hope is always near. Wherever there's people, hope is always near. Wherever there's people, hope is always near. Thank you. Thank you very much.